Now we're moving on to the size of Allison's haircut. We're continuing the guide that we created through the back of the haircut. We're going to consistently move this in vertical sections towards the front. Once I get to the front, I might over direct a bit at this point because we're going to be keeping the fringe area a little bit longer and I wanted some consistency through the length of the hair at the front. So again, go in, look for our guide, start the blade off flat, slowly increase the angle until we're cutting the hair off. Use that section as the guide for your next section. Move forward. Don't forget to take a little step forward so that your body position is consistent with your section and we're not over directing in any way. Moving on to the next section over the ear. Again, we're going to be using our guideline from the previous section, taking a little step forward, making sure that our angle is consistent with all the other angles that we've placed in the hair. Remove the hair and have a look at the section once it falls. Again, we can detail this afterwards, but if these little hairs bug you, we just go ahead and take them off at this point. Now we're going to move into the section in front of the ear. Again, consistency of guideline, consistency of combing, consistency of body position. These are all going to help you attain better, cleaner haircuts. Picking up the base of the section, I want to make sure that I'm running our guideline all the way through and we have consistency all the way through to the ends of the hair. Always having a look, making sure that our shape is nice. We have softness, consistency, everything's looking good. Now we're moving to in front of the ear. I want to start over directing my section backwards a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to be doing this to build up a little tiny bit of length at the front. I'm not trying to have a really long front area, but I just want a slight increase in length because we're having a longer fringe and I want to connect the two. The very last section at the front, I'm going to over direct back to our previous guideline and cut the hair. Everything looks good at this point. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our sectioning on the other side and replicate what we just did. Now, we're on the other side of Alice's haircut. We're going to be following our sections as before, moving forward. And just like on the other side, we're going to be maintaining some length at the front by over-directing our two sections back slightly, not a lot. It's very important before you decide to do a very short haircut or anything a little bit more out of your client's comfort zone, you have to be sure that their face shape will fit that type of haircut. There's no point in any of us stylists just making a haircut that fits everybody. That's a completely wrong way of doing things. We have to make the haircut fit the person's face. So it's very important to check the face shape of your client, check their, even their lifestyle. Are they an active person? Do they like to spend a lot of time on their hair? Do they not? Do they? You know, they want to sit in an hour in the bathroom every morning blow drying their hair, or are they completely low maintenance? All of these things are going to factor in to what makes the best haircut for your client and what's going to make them comfortable. And of course, if they're comfortable, they're going to keep coming back to you. So knowing these skills about face shape, styles, whether they fit that client, is going to keep repeating your business. If you don't follow the rules, you can put yourself out of business real quick because business is based on referrals. Referrals don't come if you don't do a good job. Okay, we're on to the last section here. I over-directed everything back. I'm just making sure we have some softness at the front. And some of these hairs I'm just gonna get rid of because they're in the way for me a bit right now. Now after this, we're gonna be moving on to the top area of Allison's haircut. We're going to be starting with a small central like mohawk section using horizontal sections and then we're going to be cutting from one side to the other and we're going to run through that section. After that, we're going to join the top section to the side section so we have consistency of angle all the way through the haircut. Like I said previously, 
we're going to be slightly over directing the front back to maintain a longer fringe that has something more playful and fun that Allison can play with when she's styling her hair. Okay, so right now we're just going to section the top off.